Tone 2 updates Gladiator to version 3.5.4 Big GUI, VST3 and more. Welcome to Music Gears where we bring you the latest info on new music instruments, software, and other gear from around the world. Tone 2 Audio has updated their Harmonic Content Morphing Synthesizer Gladiator to version 3.5.4. The update is available for free for all Gladiator 2 and 3 users. It includes a bigger GUI, many enhancements and native Apple M1 ARM support for Mac. Download, free demo and update from Tone2.com. New features. Added a large GUI that is suitable for WQHD or 4K screens. You can select form 6 different sizes for the interfaces, small slash medium slash big with slash without editor. Added a VST3 version for Mac, M1 native and Intel. Added a standalone version for Mac, M1 native and Intel. Completely new audio unit interface, M1 native and Intel. VST version supports M1 native. The patch browser is available in three different sizes. The best size for the GUI is detected automatically. The lists display checkmarks for the currently selected items. Menu entries can be quickly selected with the mouse wheel. All parameters are available for the DAW's automation now. High DPI font support for the patch browser. Help-show version info displays the mode in which the plugin is running, ARM slash Intel. Enhancements. The 3D effect of the GUI's knobs is more subtle. Changing the GUI size can now be done with a more comfortable list selector. The spectrum displays have more contrast. Much faster loading times on M1 Max. The native M1 support results in 20% lower CPU use compared to Rosetta 2 mode. More responsive GUI on M1 Max. Fine-tuned the coordinates of the knobs. Many small enhancements. Fixes. Several small compatibility fixes for macOS 11 and macOS 12. Workaround for Apple's unreliable audio unit validation. It is not longer necessary to reboot the Mac after an installation. Workarounds for many DAWs which did not resize the VST3 plugin properly. Automation in the VST3 version did not work with parameters that were located behind the 10th slot. Workaround for a bug of Ableton and FL Studio which do not properly stick to the Audio Unit 2 standard and did not display the Audio Unit. Workaround for a bug of Ableton which did not configure the automation parameters of the VST3 version properly. Workaround for a bug of Reaper which did display automation parameters incorrectly. Fixes an issue that did cause bad GUI performance after a while. Fixed a possible crash. Changes. Audio Unit and VST are now a universal binary for 64-bit Intel and M1. Apple's development tools are unable to build 32-bit Intel binaries when you support M1. Sadly we had to drop support for it. Apple's notarization and the M1 support requires a macOS version higher or equal than 10.11. If you still use an older version you must stick with Gladiator 3.0. Please click the like button if you found this helpful, and if you'd like to stay informed on the latest in music gear releases, and limited time discount offers, please subscribe. Thanks for joining us.